what's going on you guys um it is currently i think like 10 at night and i am currently low prepping so this load that we have to run right now and if you didn't get the details in the previous video we have a load where it picks up in chattanooga tomorrow and that's like 107 miles of deadhead um and then it drops in miami florida we finally got the license plate that we needed we have it on the truck and now we're just ready to roll out and what I like to do before I get my day started in the morning is I like to prep at night. So just you don't have to do too much in the morning and it just makes you sleep better at night. But uh, different things that we do, like for example, on this little thing here, um, you put in, say, the temperature. like uh here like the the maximum on this is actually going to be 86 fahrenheit so you put things like that in the system so it can recognize if anything is not going the way that it's supposed to go so i try to do all that stuff the day before i run the load and that's what i'm doing now Hey, what's up, y'all? We just wanted to let you all know that we have a second channel. On that channel, we share explicit story times, product reviews, and comedy. Click the link in our description for more content. Thanks, y'all. Peace. Good morning everyone it is currently eight o'clock in the morning I actually got up at like seven and uh, did my morning routine so I'm done with that now I'm getting ready to Carla and I were getting ready to go grocery shopping one thing we like to do uh, before we leave town especially home is go grocery shopping so we don't have to worry about stopping um, while we're on the road because this load is going to be a total of like 915 miles so um and it's hazmat we don't really like to stop different places different locations when we have hazmat so um we are going to definitely want to have some items in our refrigerator in our truck It's interesting, I told you all in the last vlog that Carl and I are gonna be getting rid of a few things and that includes this pickup truck. And even though I see this truck as a good truck and I like it a lot, <laughs> it's gonna be very significant for me to get rid of this because a lot of y'all don't know this, but certain things I struggle with letting go. I don't know why. Like if it's a piece of clothing or a vehicle or just it'd be sometimes it'd be the smallest things and it'd be hard for me to let it go. And we were watching Steve Harvey's one of Steve Harvey's video. And he was just talking about how you need to let things go to bring to make room for bigger and better things in your life. And even though I see that truck as a good truck and I really love it. Um, there's better things that we want in life. Plus Carla, <laughs> she have been wanting me to get rid of that truck for years. I'm just gonna say that. So, I'll, I'll, I'm definitely gonna be getting rid of it soon. And uh, 
it's just gonna be a little bit more than just selling the truck. this looking like <laughs> not looking too bad though to be honest let's see but you know Florida it always rains in Florida so I won't be surprised if we ran into some you just want another one of these yep thank you honey I wonder if I should get another one of these so don't worry about it yeah, you can. Y'all, that thing already broke. It's, all, it's only 97 cents, but still. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we're working with in Miami. I'm going to try pink one this time. Let's see, I need... Okay. Here we go, daily forecast. Uh, it's not supposed to really rain until Thursday. So. Oh, girl, they got some wet ones. Oh, I need to get these. Yeah, Carla get excited over wet wipes now. I know, cause you know I like to keep them in my purse. <laughs> you like that lady, uh. No, <laughs> she was like this. <laughs> yeah, and look, the whole thing <laughs> empty. She only wants six, y'all. She just wants six. Yeah. Not, not, that's not much, just that's six. six. At least I ain't take all those. That's somebody else would've took all of them. All right, y'all, so we finished up our grocery shopping and we are still, we still got an hour before it's time to leave. I don't wanna leave too early because what I did was I pulled up the location that we're headed on Google Maps. I like to do that from time to time. And um, I can already see that is really no area for like trucks like they don't have docks like here here's the area right here so i'm already going to have to search for it but i'm assuming it's probably in this area where this one orange truck is so i can already see it's going to be awkward so what i'm going to do is already have on my tennis shoes i usually like to drive in my slides but i'm um gonna already have on my tennis shoes and already be ready to you know if i have to hop out or whatever i may have to do because you can already see that this area is just not you know, not truck friendly. I even saw, um, I even saw when I looked on Google that it's like a sign where it prohibits, um, our truck on the road. So it's a few things that we're going to have to look out for. I'm glad Carla's up so she can uh, be the extra eyeballs needed, but definitely a good thing to look up your location on Google maps. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know. Look, let me turn up in here. Cause 
because I don't know if I can get under. That's 13 1. I can't even fit under that shit. I should have just went on Tennessee. Now, I guess I'll just keep straight. 500 feet ahead. Turn left on Tennessee 17 Hold up. North. It said some is restricted. I don't know. It's saying if I think if I go down that way, I can't. Let's see. Trucks over 66 detour is that way. So I need to turn down this way. Lord, I can definitely see how you can get yourself messed up in this little area. Lord. But you can't go through that tunnel. Homeless, no income, please help. Hey, he got a female dog. She look like she's been um, she's kept pretty sorry. well. No, she looks high and tired. No, I'm saying as far as her coat, baby.